Hey, my name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 55 of Attila's Trap. This is a devlog about my game, Space Prevention Force, a tycoon game where you build, research, and market to save the most alien lives. I will talk about my weekly game progress, some of my karate training, and we will all have fun. That's right, so let's have some fun. First of all, this week, I upgraded my product to Uni version 2019.3, and yes, I did make sure to back up all my files beforehand. Break it down. Bag it up. <laughs> no, no, not not that kind of backing up. It's taking a bit to get used to the new design, but I'm liking it and I'm excited to test out the new features. Anyways, this week I kind of I kind of redid the whole research UI. And it's funny because I didn't really plan it. I kind of just started working one day and I was like, yeah, I don't really like it anymore. Previously, it was a scrollable screen where you can only see three upgrades at a time. And although I could have made it smaller. With the amount of upgrades I plan on having in the final game, it just really didn't make a lot of sense. So I compacted the research UI, so now everything is displayed on one single screen. Now there's a dedicated spot so you can see each upgrade's description when you click on it, as well as the time it'll take to complete, which I haven't implemented yet, but I will. In doing so, I also messed around with the color changing of buttons. Uh, I'm gonna have it so that yellow is selected, green is finished, and blue is being researched. It's almost working perfectly as long as you don't do some weird things, but then again, I need to protect the player from themselves, so I will get on that soon. I'm also still continuing to work on animation and adding to the polish of the game. I made some animations for the worker that kind of show a little plus one text if they save a life. So this is for the office workers and the psychologists. And I gotta admit, I kind of stole this one straight out of Corporation Incorporated. I really like it there. And especially when you're zoomed out, it looks really cool to see all the, the green text coming up. I also added a special animation for the aliens based on if they are saved or not. On the topic of animation, I messed a lot this week with the worker placed animation and the bug it was previously causing with turning all the workers hair white. I fixed it, but it did take a bit of work and a few workarounds. How'd you do that, Garrett? Well, because each worker will have a different hair and skin color, I can't set that as a preset for the animations. That'd be really cool if you could do something like that and link the scripts to the, the sprite render like that. But unfortunately you can't, and that's that's a lot to ask for for uni, so I can't I can't be upset about that. Anyways, each worker has two color variables. One is the color that it should be whenever the animation is finished, and the other is the current color of the sprite. When triggered by an animation, the sprites for the worker will lerp between the two colors, first the green highlight color all the way to the final color. And yes, you can do more than just lerping transforms, you can also lerp colors, which is really, really cool. The lerp time for each color is calculated based on the length of the animation, which is a nice little touch, but although I'm probably not gonna change the length, it is nice to have. And after the animation is finished, another event trigger occurs, stopping the link between the colors because you don't need it anymore. The color won't change again. And I wanna save some processing power. Pro processing power. This week, I experimented a little bit with the cheat slash slant gainer, but unfortunately, I don't have any footage of that. But I do have me doing a handstand for a while. As I'm continuing to polish up the game, I'm also tackling some more bugs. The sliders weren't always resetting to zero correctly, which is kind of weird, but I did fix that because of some animation timings. Also, I fixed this weird thing where with the animations, they cause the workers to slowly rise up because of the exit and entry times. So I just made those both zero so that doesn't happen anymore. And as you've probably seen, I've added some more hairstyles for the workers to make some more spiffy characters. Spiffy. Spiffy. Perfect. My question this week is how was your Valentine's Day? Whether you have someone or you're alone, <coughs> I just want you to know that I love each one of you guys. Thank you for watching. Again, I love every single one of you. I thank you so much for watching these devlogs. If you need anything at all, my Discord messages are always open. If you need someone to talk to or you need any help from me and my fellow commanders, we are saying goodbye and we will see you in the next devlog. Bye everyone.
Break it down, bag it up, 